Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. I want to first um, say welcome to all of my new subscribers. I've had quite a few new people join my channel lately, and I really appreciate that. I hope that you all will feel welcome and find some inspiration here. Um, and a big hello and crafty hugs to all of you who have been with me for a while. It's so appreciated, and uh, I think sometimes I get quite busy and and don't take enough time to say how much I do appreciate each and every one of you. Um, okay, guys, I've got a couple of journals to share with you. Now, these are different journals uh, from my usual I am. Yes, I know you're tired of hearing it. Stash busting. <laughs> so um, these are plain journals that I've added to my shop. The, um, you'll see a big difference. You know, they've got... <clears throat> I haven't overly embellished. In fact, you know, like I said, they're quite what I would consider plain. So to start, this is a paper bag journal. Um, I've got a pocket on the back here with a little tag there. And then this has got a few pockets and journal cards throughout. But there's, it's not, as you can see, it's not overly embellished. Um, just a few things. I've, I've got a flip out here, pocket here with the journal card, two pockets here, and then I've made this tag that pulls out of this little flip. So that's one journal I've got ready to go, and you can see she's a vintage lady on the front. And if you're wondering how I've made this journal, I have a tutorial and a process um, on my patron site. If you're interested in, um, in joining, we've done one, and I'll be showing that very soon because that's, that's, I've got a surprise coming up. So the other one I've got here, if you remember, I did this scrappy fabric uh, cover tutorial. I'll link that in the description box below if you're interested in learning how to make one of these yourself. Um, so I've just finished it up, added some seam binding, and all I've done on this one, guys, is a pocket on the front and the back. There are no pockets within this um, at all. Just a real mix of tea dye papers, digitals, I've got some specialty papers in here. And this one has 60 pages front and back for you to, this is handmade paper as well. So 60 pages front and back for you to start to fill in with your own um, ephemera and uh, memorabilia. And this one measures, let me share, the little paper bag journal is a 4 by 5 and then the scrappy fabric is a five and a half by eight inch journal. Now, I love how that cover came out. I love the colors in it. It just it's such a beautiful journal. Okay, this one I would classify this as um, more for um, art. You could do some art journaling in this because I've added some. Um, handmade papers and some really thick um, mixed media paper within this one. This is an envelope journal. I've got two signatures in here. Again, very plain. Um, this one has a few pockets here and there. Again, this is like 300 GSM pay, uh, paper, so and this is handmade, so you could do mixed media on that. Uh, paper, um, little paper bag, just a real eclectic mix. I've got a long pocket here. I've not added any tags or embellishments. These are just purely um, the journal and this is handmade paper as well for you to fill in. Um, here's another book page pocket and like I said this is two signatures. Another long pocket there I've made just clearing out, guys, um, another bit of that. Um, it's This isn't handmade paper. It's like a, I think they call it sugar paper. And just some old vintage um, book pages. Another um, 
bag. So there you go, guys. Um, how many pages is this one? Let me count them quickly. One. This is going to have about 160 pages front and back. And this one, when it's closed, that's about a six and a quarter by nine. Yeah, actually it is. It's a six, it's a six by nine, I forgot. Um, so those are in the shop, guys, and if you're interested in those, jump over and take a look. And very quickly, let me share one more thing with you today. I've got Happy Mail! Yay! Um, this was a giveaway from uh, Penny, who is here on YouTube. I'm going to put her channel below. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous decoupaged um, little pocket with the rooster? I love that. And she's got a feather there. And inside, look at what she's included. Beautiful. I love these. I do not have this die. So this is just beautiful. Pen uh, Penny, thank you so, so much for that. So she had a... Um, a giveaway and I won and I gotta say that's only the second time I've ever won a giveaway <laughs> and I love this look at it it's it's a um, altered notebook and Penny this is fantastic because I was just about to purchase a notebook to uh, start keeping up with my patrons so this is going to be absolutely perfect I love the ruffle I love the image and then inside, look at, she's got this beautiful pocket here. Isn't he beautiful? And then I love this tag. It's a fabric tag with the, um, the image stitched on there. Some trims. Gorgeous. And then another little tag here. And then I've got all of the space for writing in. And then on the back, she's done another tag. I love it, Penny. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I know she was getting worried because um, it's our, I don't know why, my mail, it just arrived yesterday. And um, so I don't know what the delay was. I can only imagine it was customs. But um, thank you so much, Penny. That is so appreciated and, and is going to be used, definitely. So guys, that's, um, that's all I've got to share with you today. I uh, hope everybody has a great weekend ahead. Stay safe out there, and I'll be back very soon. I've got a tutorial coming up very soon. I'm hoping it'll be something you guys enjoy. So take it easy. I'll see you later. Bye.